All right, guys. So, Lord, you guys know when it comes to a lot of stuff, I I tend to try to just be quiet. I really don't talk about the Jenners. I try not to talk about the Kardashians a whole lot and make several videos about it. I don't really, if ever, like to talk about Jeffree Star. The last Jeffree Star video I did. I was really just trying to keep it to the point because Jeffrey just don't get a rise out of me like that. So this has less to do with him and more to do with Kim. And if you guys are unaware, if you guys are reading the title, then last night Kim Kardashian did a snap, which I'm sure you can find here on YouTube. And in the snap, she pretty much was defending, pretty much she was defending Jeffree Star's racist ass past. Now, I know people are like, well, didn't we get past this? Didn't Jeffrey apologize? Yeah, he did apologize, and nobody fucking bought it because not even a fucking week later, he was in some more shit. He, I'm not gonna flame the fires of the trauma. I'm just gonna just do it. I'm gonna just sit. And you set your ass down there and started some more shit. He's been in more shit since the apology. He done waved and flamed the fires more than ever at this particular point. So it's like, come on, dude. I knew it was bullshit, but I was gonna let y'all eat that shit up because I, I said what the fuck I said. Now... I was getting ready to go to sleep around midnight, and I get a call from my friend Paris, who was actually blocked by Jeffrey for asking a simple question about merchandising and retailers, and he got mad and pretty much was snarky to her and then blocked her. But I don't follow him anyway, so whatever, girl. You know what's going on? She said, I'm, a, I'm calling you about this situation because Kim was on Snapchat just defending the fuck out of Jeffrey's racist ass past. And I was like, bitch, you said what? Like, wait, what you, what you say? So, I go and I watch it and the coonery and the buffoonery. Now, I am not in any way, shape, or form, I am not shocked by what Kim said. Not at all. I'm not shocked. It's more of a, not a matter of if she would say it, but when she would say it. You know, for a person, I think Kim has like a, 105 million people following her, her on Instagram. And the bulk of those people are from the minority community, okay? So these are people who have been through shit. These are people who don't get the same opportunities. Oh, you get, so she's sitting there getting her Omega put on her breast. Saying, you know, Jeffrey apparently did a video. Listen, I don't keep up with anything Kardashian beauty related or Jeffree Star cosmetics related because quite frankly I don't like neither one of their brands. I really don't. I don't think that Jeffree I th If I had to pick one I probably would pick Jeffree's just because I believe his product is a little bit better than hers But I still wouldn't purchase with my own money his bullshit. I'm sorry, but I'm not into clown makeup Like I'm, I'm listening out so I may sometimes dress like a drag queen, but I'm not doing that so he did a video of something she has and she she did a swatch and they were chalky and apparently he called her swatches struggle like and she was like I, all her fans start going at him like you fucking ugly you know how they go at Jeffrey whatever so she's like you guys need to stop really talking about Jeffrey like that and I'm happy that he told me about my struggle swatches because I'm learning how to properly swatch girl I seen your sex tape you definitely know how to properly swatch okay so what are you talking like Hmm. So is this is, is is this where we're going with this? Jeffree Star is a person that I really don't like. And the reason why I do not like him is because of the fact that not just his racist stuff, but the way that he treats people in general. Whether if you don't agree with his bullshit and his mantra, he wants to get an attitude with you. Instead of just blocking you, he wants to tell you that you're a rat and you're 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 irrelevant and you're this, you're this and you're that. But I've noticed that there's a hierarchy issue with Jeffrey. Here's the thing. Jeffrey's here. He looks at Makeup by Shayla. Anybody on YouTube, he looks at here. So that includes uh, Laura Lee's funny looking ass. That includes Manny. That includes all these people. But Kim is here. Okay? And he was trying to attempt to put Jackie Ina here. But Jackie don't fuck with him. So she got bumped back down in here. So when there's somebody above him, he speaks to them in a very different manner. So instead of trashing Kim in his KKW review, he, he tried to tiptoe around it and say, oh, I, it, I like it. It's not the best. It's not the best, but I like it. But if it was anyone else, this shit is fucking terrible. He threw Kylie shit in the trash because he looks at Kim as someone, you know, if, if, 
the lighter they are, and I hate to be the person to say this, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. The lighter they are, the more relevance he ha they have. Because notice, when he did his video about Kat Von D, he was very, very smart about his words, okay? Very smart. When he talked about Shayla, he was very derogatory about her. Shayla was irrelevant. She was a rat. When our checking accounts matched, they come to me. But when it was Kat, even though you got a problem with her, you still gonna make sure you watch your fucking mouth, right? Because you know for a fact that Kat will bury the fuck out of you. She is Sephora. And you will never be in Sephora. So before I get to my main point, let's go to the fact that Benefit has Jeffree Star on their rollerballs right now and for the packaging. Now, from my understanding and what I know, the reason why Sephora don't want to fuck with Jeffree is because Jeffree is a liability. And Sephora is an inclusive store that invites any and everybody. They have women in makeup. They have men in makeup. They have trans girls who come and work there. So they don't want a black girls who work there. So they don't want a non-inclusive person because that's going to fuck with their sales. And when all is said and done, this entire video, if you don't take shit from it, it's about money. Okay? So if a person is not is going to fuck up my business, Nikki Tutorials, I don't want to fuck with you. If you have a very racist past and you keep on fucking and people are in my comments talking about it, cat, I don't want to fuck with you no more. Because now you're putting yourself in a position where you're fucking up my shit. So what happens? Jeffrey now has to buy his friends. Now he's buying Tati. Now he's buying Laura. Now he's buying Manny. Because of the fact nobody wants to touch you. Nobody wants to deal with that because at the end of the day, we're all out here to make some money, right? So if you continue to be the problem that keeps putting this negative connotation on my brand, I don't want to fuck with you. So what does he do? I buy you a Louis purse. I give you a line with me. Let's do a collaboration. You know, my, my, my shit still sells out though. So let's do this. But it's always that negative thing. It's like when people say, Kim Kardashian is a great entrepreneur, but she's still a hoe. Kim Kardashian has made a way out of no way, but she's still a hoe. She still don't have no talent. There's always going to be that. So money is only going to make you happy for so long because what real, Jeffrey would love to be in Sephora. So much so, I got sent a tweet from him saying, walk into Sephora and you hear somebody whisper, if it ain't Jeffrey Star Cosmetic, then I don't want it. Yes! So let me ask you a question, Jeffrey. And out of all days for you, why are you even in Sephora? That's my question. If they're a mall brand, why are you there? Because that's what you said, not me. You walked into, into Sephora, a random Sephora, where you had no business, you had no meet and greets, nothing. You overheard someone speaking about your product that they've never sold, ever. And you decided to tweet at Sephora. No, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get into their good graces. That The people over, they're not stupid. They're not stupid. I love Moschino, as you guys can see, from all these bags and purses and everything that I do, I love Moschino. But the day I see Jeffree Star on a Moschino advertisement, and you can quote me here, I'm good. I'm done with the brand. Because that is not inclusive to me. It is too many other people out here. Benefit had every fucking person that they could think of that was, that their, their, their core color of who they was was pink on a fucking resort collection. Now, I would have took fucking Patrick Star. At least he would have had a little bit of swirliness in it. But this is what it's about. It's about business. And what Kim did was she overspoke because she's so worried about the dollar as opposed to what it means. So let me ask you a question, Kim. Let me ask you a real good question. When North comes home and she's crying and you ask her, North, what's wrong? And she says, Mom, there's a boy at school who called me a nigger bitch. He had a, he had a Charles Manson haircut and a crooked face that was shaped like the capital J. What do I do? What do, You know what she's going to do? She's not going to be a mom. She's going to call her mom crying. She's going to ask her black nanny what she should do. And then what she's going to do at the end is, Kanye, Kanye, can you, hold on, baby, because I, I don't know. We're going to get daddy for this one because I don't know what to say. I don't know. Daddy's on tour, so we're going to FaceTime with him so he can tell you what that means. Someone said the N-word to North and she doesn't know what to do, and I don't know what to do about it either. That's what you're going to do. Forever and always, because you have mixed breed children, you're going to have to deal with this type of negative connotation. But on top of that, you know what else you're going to have to deal with? Your mom's a hoe. Here's your mom sucking dick from another man who ain't your fucking daddy on the internet. 
That's what your kids are going to have to deal with, girl. So, people always want to bring up money with celebrities. They always want to use this as an excuse as to why they can be the way that they are. It's not going to matter because you know what's going to happen? Your children are going to go to school with multimillionaires too. My daddy's a lawyer. My mom's a, a world-renowned producer. Your mother's a hoe. Your daddy's crazy. That's what you're going to deal with. So because y'all sit back and perpetuate and make the Kardashians a thing, that doesn't mean that the next generation is going to give a fuck about the Kardashians. You get what I'm saying? If Kim wanted to have this much, she sat there and defended this man, not knowing out of her own admission, well, I wasn't aware of the things that he did in his... You should have shut the fuck up. You're not even black. You're not even black adjacent, bitch. So, why would you speak on a matter that you have no, you know, you know what it was? She was defending her money. She wasn't defending Jeffrey. She was defending her fucking money. That's what she was doing. Because she know for a fact, when everybody clowned your whole fucking KKW, including Jackie Ina, Jackie Ina was nice about it. She was very respectful about it. But when everybody in their comments, after you decided to post every last fucking picture about all the people who came that you invited to your home for your launch, and they tried to drag Jackie for having an honest opinion because that's her fucking job, you took up to four fucking days to say something. It, it wasn't even two hours after Jeffrey said what the fuck he said, and here you are getting your motherfucking titties padded with the face hardly moving, talking about, I really, if, I mean, he had... I don't like when people bring up my past. Bitch, your past is sucking dick on camera. Your past is not, your past isn't chasing a woman down the street calling her a nigger bitch. That's a completely different situation, boo. So let, so let me ask you a question. When that child with the Charles Manson haircuts and the Ted Bundy motherfucking bangs come and, and you see him at a parent-teacher conference, hopefully you go to those. Do you tell North? After his mother told him to apologize to North, do you tell North? Now, North, this happened on a Monday, and it's a Friday. So he apologized. So you need to just let it go and you move on, okay? No, you're going to feel away because she's your child, and you're going to feel like your child is in some type of danger because you have a person who feels like that rhetoric is okay. And it's not okay. I'm not asking Kim Kardashian to embrace nobody fucking kids but her own. And if this was any other situation, and this was back in 2006, I really probably wouldn't care. But the fact that she has two children with the black man says a lot about her as a woman. Girl. So someone decided to write this comment, which I thought was very insightful. Somebody said, she said, she should focus her energy on the millions of Armenians that are living in poverty due to war and violence and let us color people worry about African American community. I so fucking agree with that, okay? Now, somebody called it last night. Well, this morning, they said by the morning time, she's going to apologize. Her, her PR is going to apologize for this. If you're supposed to be an inclusive brand, that's not being inclusive. I don't give a fuck what you feel about Jeffrey. You bitches can go get Botox together. Y'all can sit there and mumble in each other's faces. And y'all fake ass lips can do whatever the fuck y'all want to do. I could give a fuck. But the problem is, don't tell a group of a community of motherfuckers that they should get over some shit that you don't need. You're not even included. I know that you felt like you were part of the black community because you might have went to the, the BET Awards because BET was kissing Kanye's ass. But see, I, you know, I see why Beyonce don't fuck with you. I see why she don't like you. There was something about you that we all didn't see. Some of us seen it. Some of us just didn't say nothing about it. But I seen a picture with her and Dream recently. Dream knows something about this bitch that we don't know. She feels it in her bone gristle when she doesn't like it. You see that? That's, get this bitch up off me. Her aura's wrong, okay? She smells like plastic. When you have people like Kim and you have people like Jeffrey who sit back and think that their shit is okay. So you, I know there are people in the comments who are ready to say, well, how many times does he have to apologize to be forgiven? Let me tell you something. There's a thing called thinking before the fuck you speak, okay? And you have to watch what the fuck you say before you fucking say it. Because he wasn't a 6-year-old. He wasn't a 12-year-old. He was a 19 to 20-year-old in the streets calling someone out of their name. You could have called that girl anything else but that. And you chose the most extreme thing you could in order to get a rise. And now you got it. You got it. I bet you his motherfucking ass. I bet you. With that long-ass face, he wish 
He had never said this. Because you never knew what your life, where your life was going to end up. And all the money that he got, he's still fucking unhappy. And that's why every time you look up Kat Von D's name in his motherfucking mouth, he gonna have the nerve to say, I would never want to be like, like her. She's a mall brand. She only makes 16% of her earnings. Well, let me do some math for you, okay? Miss I'm Rich. We can only purchase Jeffree Star Cosmetics through Jeffree Star Cosmetics. If you want to take your ass over there to Morphe's old uh, cold throwing asses, then you could get it from there. And Beautylish. No, he has. No, okay, hold on me. I'm, I'm overstepping my boundaries. Hold on. He doesn't, he, I'm self-owned. I don't want to be owned by no store. I don't, I'm, I make 100% of my earnings. Well, guess what, bitch? 16% times the world, and you can go march into your local motherfucking Sephora and swatch a Kat Von D product before you purchase it? I would take 16% because I bet you she's making way more motherfucking money than your ass would ever see, you long-fingered bitch. Okay? Now, I try to be nice. I try to be nice. But this is the shit that irritates me about him. Because you continue to perpetuate and talk about someone who don't give a fuck about you no more. Let it go, sis. She ain't fucking with you, boo. Let all of these bitches buy these big-ass knockoff Barbie highlighters and be happy. But you know his last couple of um, shit ain't sold out. Ever since Jackiana <laughs> had to say what she had to say. And you know, it's, shit ain't selling out. You could go anywhere in the motherfucking world into your local Sephora and swatch a Kat Von D product. You can only wish and hope and watch as many videos on YouTube as you can to figure out if that color of Jeffree Star Cosmetics is going to work for you. That person will probably go with Kat before they fuck with you. Period. The only reason why he in fucking Sephora right now is because he went with Benefit. And I personally, and this is no shade towards Benefit, I don't know nobody who used their products. So it seems like to me, they're taking the rest of the route that everybody else did. Let's grab a whole bunch of beauty influencers. Let's throw them on the boxes. So we can c compete with Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we can compete with Morphe. And we can compete with all of these people. Because we're, we're the low at the totem pole at this point. There's a lot of people that I read who was like, you got me fucked up, Benefit. I will no longer be fucking with y'all. Ever. So, Kim, let's worry about what you're going to do when your children become older. And you have to explain to your children the difference between racist, because you're going to have to have that talk, and Kanye can't be the only parent doing something. And you go... Let's, let's more focus less on what Jeffrey did in his past and more about what you did in your past and how you're going to explain to your daughter why you have a dick in your mouth that's Googleable to the world. Okay? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's keep that there. Because the only thing Kim worried about right now is a dollar amount. How rich is too rich? How much money do you need? Now she wants to apologize. And you know why Kim's apologizing right now? Because her dumb ass looks stupid. That's why she's apologizing. Because everybody lighting her ass up. Kanye probably like lit her ass up. Kanye, where are you? Oh my God. OJ Simpson is in somebody halfway house right now with an attitude. Okay? Like, I, I'm, I'm just really over this. I am over... People making excuses for people, okay? Well, he did it in his past, and it's, well, how, it, it was a mistake. A mistake is putting on the wrong fucking foundation color, bitch. The mistake is not motherfucking calling somebody out their motherfucking name with the most derogatory things that you could say, okay? We've all done it. Everybody's a little bit racist on the 405, okay? Shout out to Nicole for that. <laughs> but... I'm just not going to go out of my way to just be derogatory and disrespectful and try to hit below the belt. That shit that he said, he wasn't sorry for. He felt that shit. He was sorry he got caught. He was sorry that somebody said something. He's sorry that that shit was on film. He was sorry that his motherfucking sales of his makeup was suffering. That's why he was sorry. Kim is sorry because she was defending her money and everybody called her a dumbass coon. That's why she's sorry. She ain't sorry for what the fuck she said. I'm sorry for being so... Stop playing with your hair, bitch, and pay a fucking attention. Stop speaking on shit you ain't got no fucking clue about. Stop supporting motherfuckers that you have no fucking clue about. Okay? If you want to be part of the beauty world, you want to try to do what Kylie did, that's fine. 
You're doing videos with motherfuckers you don't like. You're doing videos about shit that don't make no sense. And it seems to me like all her products just suck. So little sister Kylie got you beat, boo. That's it. She got you beat. I really, I'm over this, like, even in my video that I did, and I was like, I don't know why people dislike Kylie, and they was like, it's because of cultural appropriation type of situation. I get it. I do. Not to the extent that other people get it, but I get it. Who the fuck? But there are people who sit back and they think this, this type of rhetoric and bullshit is okay. Until you get caught, that's all of a sudden. Well, he apologized. How many times... He he's gonna apologize for the rest of his fucking life for this, okay? This is never gonna be a point where it's all gonna be okay, okay? I'm sure if Hitler said okay, this her ass. I'm just, listen. When Trump said he's sorry, I bet you Kim gonna be right there front and center. Now at a point, I defended Caitlyn Jenner's ass, but she's on my shit list too. Make America great again. You crippled ass, big toe. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. I seen a person who was just trying to live in their truth, but apparently they're still very ignorant and they still have their very right, the right, right ways. Okay? Let's not do that. Everybody wants change, but we can't have change when you got dumbass bitches like. Now, where the fuck? Hold on, before I go, where the fuck was Kim at when Jackie Ina went through this shit? Where, where the fuck was you at when Rob was getting robbed? I didn't hear shit from Nat Nat, Courtney, Kim, Saint, motherfucking Penelope, Mason, nobody, girl. But yet, let motherfucking Jeffrey say two things, and here you go. You, girl, you, she ain't never been, she didn't spend this much motherfucking time on Snapchat due to the Marble Coke situation. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I haven't, I haven't kept up with the Kardashians about three faces back of Kim, so... I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with them. I don't buy any of their products. And this is one of the reasons why. Because I'm not supporting a brand that I feel like is on some bullshit. Now, people are going to support Kim, but I'm going to just say this before I go. When I don't support a brand, I don't purchase from them. I don't comment on them. I don't do anything. I don't, this is about to be one of the last, unless she says some other shit, then I'll be back. But other than that... I'm good on the whole Kardashian Jenner clan. Okay? I'm good. Okay? Like I said... You are the people, you are the consumers. If you don't like the shit, don't buy the shit. Don't comment on the shit, don't support the shit. And that's when they're going to know to shut the fuck up. But if you say in your comments what you ain't going to do, and then Kylie comes out with another fucking lip kit and your ass is going crazy, I don't want to hear shit. Don't be mad in the moment, bitch. Keep that whole energy going. So on that note, I'm done. I'm out. Kim Kardashian, I would tell you to go suck a dick, but we got evidence of that, so... Get a clue, girl, for your children. Because Saint and North and the new baby that's baking, they're going to have it real bad with y'all being a parents, period. And money cannot change embarrassment, okay? Money cannot make your past go away. Ask Usher. Peace.